Late sententiae is a Latin phrase, meaning, sentence already passed, used in the canon law of the Catholic Church. A late sententiae penalty is one that follows ipso facto or automatically, by force of the law itself, when a law is contravened. A penalty that binds a guilty party only after it has been imposed on the person is known as a ferrande sententiae, meaning, sentence to be passed. Penalty, the Code of Canon Law, which binds Catholics of the Latin Church, inflicts late sententiae censures for certain forbidden actions. The canon law that binds members of the Eastern Catholic Churches see Code of Canons of the Eastern Churches does not include late sententiae penalties. Grammatical note Note that late sententiae is an adjectival phrase in the genitive intended to accompany a noun, such as excommunication. In order to be used in connection with a verb, an adverbial form of the phrase in the ablative case is required, as in, he was excommunicated lata sententia. Topic. Penalties in the Code of Canon Law Topic. The censures that the Code of Canon Law envisages are excommunication, interdict, and suspension. Excommunication prohibits participation in certain forms of liturgical worship and church governance. Interdict involves the same liturgical restrictions as excommunication, but does not affect participation in church governance. Suspension, which affects only members of the clergy, prohibits certain acts by a cleric, whether the acts are of a religious character deriving from his ordination. Acts of the power of orders or are exercises of his power of governance or of rights and functions attached to the office he holds. Excommunications Unless the excusing circumstances outlined in Canons 1321-1330 exist, the Code of Canon Law imposes late sententiae excommunication on the following An apostate from the faith, a heretic, or a schismatic, a person who throws away the consecrated Eucharistic species or takes and retains them for a sacrilegious purpose. A person who uses physical force against the Pope. A priest who absolves his accomplice in a sin against the commandment against adultery. A bishop who ordains someone a bishop without a papal mandate, and the person who receives the ordination from him. A confessor who directly violates the sacramental seal of confession. A person who procures a completed abortion. Accomplices without whose assistance a violation of a law prescribing late sententiae excommunication would not have been committed. Legislation outside of the Code of Canon Law may also decree late sententiae excommunication. An example is that governing papal elections, which applies it to persons who violate secrecy, or who interfere with the election by means such as simony or communicating the veto of a civil authority, the ipso facto excommunication that applied before 1983 to Catholics who became members of Masonic associations was not maintained in the revised Code of Canon Law that came into force in that year. However, the Holy See has declared that membership remains forbidden and that the faithful who enroll in Masonic associations are in a state of grave sin and may not receive Holy Communion. Interdicts Instances in which one incurs a late sententiae interdict include the following Using physical force against a bishop Attempting to preside at Eucharist, or giving sacramental absolution, when not a priest. Falsely denouncing a confessor for soliciting a penitent to sin against the commandment against adultery, and A perpetually professed religious who attempts marriage. An example of an interdict that is not late sententiae but instead ferrande sententiae is that given in Canon 1374 of the Code of Canon Law. One who joins an association which plots against the Church is to be punished with a just penalty, one who promotes or moderates such an association, however, is to be punished with an interdict. Suspensions Automatic suspension applies to clerics those who have been ordained at least to the diaconate in the following cases. A cleric who uses physical violence against a bishop 
a deacon who attempts to celebrate the sacrifice of the Mass, or a priest who, though not empowered to grant sacramental absolution, attempts to do so or hears sacramental confession the empowerment or faculty in question is granted either by the law itself, for instance to those who hold certain offices, or by certain ecclesiastical superiors of the penitents and penitents in danger of death can be validly absolved even by a priest without the faculty to hear confessions, and even if a priest with the faculty is present. A cleric who celebrates a sacrament through simony. A cleric who has received ordination illicitly. A cleric who falsely denounces before a church superior a priest as having committed the delict of soliciting, in connection with confession, to a sexual sin. Ferrande sententiae suspension along with other punishments is to be inflicted on any cleric who openly lives in violation of chastity and on any priest who, in the act, on the occasion, or under the pretext of confession solicits a penitent to a sexual sin. Effects If one commits an ecclesiastical offense for which a Ferrande sententiae punishment is prescribed, the penalty takes effect only when imposed by the competent ecclesiastical authority. It can also happen that the ecclesiastical authority issues a declaration that a particular individual has in fact incurred a late sententiae censure. In both these cases the effects are more severe than those of a merely automatic censure. Those under interdict or excommunication of any kind are forbidden to receive the sacraments, including the Eucharist, but a priest may not refuse communion publicly to those under merely automatic censure, even if he knows that they have incurred this kind of censure. However, if the excommunication has been imposed or declared, others are obliged to prevent the censured person from acting in a ministerial capacity in the liturgy or, if this proves impossible, to suspend the liturgical service and the censured person is not to be admitted to Holy Communion see Canon 915. Remission Apart from cases where remission of a censure is reserved to the Holy See, it is for the ordinary responsible for its infliction or, after he has been consulted or in extraordinary circumstances in which such consultation is not possible, the ordinary of the locality where the censured person is present to remit a declared or imposed censure established by law. However, an ordinary can remit a merely automatic censure for his subjects, wherever they are, and for anyone present in his territory or who committed the delict in his territory, and any bishop can remit merely automatic censures for anyone whose sacramental confession he is hearing. If a penitent finds it burdensome to remain in grave sin for the duration of the time necessary for obtaining remission by the competent authority from an undeclared late sententiae excommunication or interdict that excludes the penitent from the sacraments, the confessor may immediately remit the censure in the internal sacramental forum, while requiring the penitent to have recourse within one month to the competent authority. Remission cannot be granted to someone who maintains contumacy, nor can it be denied to someone who withdraws from contumacy. References, <references>